Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video I am talking about uh, some of the relations of the cutting velocities and chip thickness ratio or you can say cutting ratio in case of metal cutting operations. So let us see over here. So in case of chip thickness or you can say a cutting ratio. So ratio of depth of cut or you can say a chip thickness prior to deformation or you can say before experiment or you can say before cutting to the chip thickness after the deformations. So in simple way that before cutting a chip thickness and after cutting actions your chip thickness. So in the case of the metal cutting operations so some kind of wedges shapes tool having a rack angle just you can see over here. So tool having a angle alpha with the vertical axis and that will be representing as a rack angle alpha. So according to that rack angle alpha tool is fit against a workpiece with some of the depth of cut. So over here T1 is indicating as a depth of cut. So you can also considering as a uncut chip thickness or in simple way before experiment we are applying a depth of cut for metal removal rate. So that will be considering as a uncut chip thickness. So by tool is fed against a workpiece at an angle of alpha. So material is being removed at that particular shear plane angle. So shear plane AB line or you can say with a shear plane angle of 5. So I want to develop a relation of that particular shear plane angle 5. So just you can see over here AB is representing as a shear plane. So that will be making a angle with the horizontal axis and that will be indicating as a shear angle 5. So as from the chip thickness ratio so T1 is indicating as a uncut chip thickness T2 that will be equal to cut chip thickness in simple way before experiment and after experiment. So now for chip thickness or you can say cutting ratio. So T1 is indicating as a uncut chip thickness. So in case of metal cutting operations that will be equal to a depth of cut is given before the starting of the experiment. So you can say that it will be the uncut chip thickness. And T2 is indicating as a cut chip thickness. So after making an experiment the thickness of that particular chip. So that will be indicating as a T2. So in simple way T1 is a uncut chip thickness and T2 is indicating as a cut chip thickness. And over here just you can see 5 it will be the shear angle. So chip is flowing at a some shear plane due to the tool is fit against a workpiece at some angles. So that angle is indicating as a shear plane. So it will be making a line AB at a angle 5 and alpha is representing as a rack angles. So tool is making a angle with vertical plane. So that would be indicating as a alpha rack angles. So now just you can see over here. So here just you can make a component BC at right angles. So here it will be a angle ACB. So C it will be the 90 and angle A it will be 5. So for angle B it will be obviously 90 minus 5. Now for the second one here it will be a angle BAD. So I want to interest with the finding a angle A. So from new angle B D A. So at D it will be a 90. So over here just you can see 90 minus 5 plus alpha. And finally for the angle D B A. So angle D it will be 90 and angle A it will be 90 minus 5 plus A. So I would like to interest uh, identifying angle at B. So 90 minus 90 minus 5 plus 
A. So just you can see over here at angle B, it will be finally phi minus alpha. Now the chip thickness or for the cutting ratio, you will get the final figure over here. So in case of chip thickness ratio, that will be uncut chip thickness divided by cut chip thickness. So T1 upon T2, that will be a equation number 1. Now finding the value of T1 and T2. So the considering first triangle BAC and angle 5. So BAC. So just apply a sine rule. So sine 5, that will be equal to T1 upon AB line. So it will be nothing but a shear plane. So finally T1 is equal to AB sine 5 from the equations. Now for T2, considering a triangle DBA. So now we are applying a cos. So cos phi minus alpha, we already derive how we get a phi minus alpha. That should be equal to T2 upon AB. So finally we will get AB cos phi minus alpha. Now putting a value of T1 and T2 into equation number 1. So let us see what happened. So for the chief thickness ratio R equal to AB sine 5 divided by AB cos phi minus alpha. So AB, AB cancel out. So sine 5 upon cos phi minus alpha. So just you can make it simple. So cos phi minus alpha that should be equal to sine 5. So just you can use the mathematical formula cos alpha minus beta. So over here R cos phi cos alpha plus R sine 5 sine alpha equal to sine 5. So dividing both the equations by sine 5. So what we get over here, just you can see R cos alpha plus R tan phi because sine 5 upon cos phi that should be converting into tan phi into sine alpha equal to tan phi. So R cos alpha equal to tan phi minus R tan phi into sine alpha. So finally, R cos alpha, that should be equal to tan phi is common out. So 1 minus R sine alpha. So finally, we'll get tan phi that will be equal to R cos alpha divided by 1 minus R sine alpha. So that will be the equation of the shear plane angle. So finally, tan inverse, tan phi equal to R cos alpha upon 1 minus R sine alpha. So, just you can see, now we are interested to making a velocity relationships. So, just you can see over here, V is equal to tool velocity with respect to the workpiece. So, just you can see the figure, tool velocity with respect to the workpiece. So, it will be the horizontal components, Vs, that will be indicating over here, Cheap velocity with respect to a workpiece. So generally, cheap velocity, it will be at shear plane angle. So that will be at a angle 5. And we see cheap velocity with respect to the tool face. So that will be parallel to the tool face. So at alpha angle. So now see uh, components of velocity relationships. So V components, it will be a horizontal components and at five angles, our cheap velocity with respect to the workpiece. So V as components. So from here, just you can making a vertical line and that will be making a alpha rack angle with the tool face. So according to that alpha angle, that will be nothing but indicating of a VC. So that will be the third components. So at these locations that will be finding as a 90 minus alpha and here 90 minus 5 plus alpha. So just you can see this kind of component systems for the different velocities. Now considering a triangle as shown into figure and apply the sine rules. So we see that will be nothing but sine 5 Vs that will be nothing but sine 90 minus alpha 
and v divided by sin 90 minus 5 minus alpha so that will be 90 minus 5 plus alpha so it will be in some another way sin 90 minus 5 minus alpha so simplify these equations so vc divided by sin 5 equal to vs divided by cos alpha equal to v divided by cos phi minus alpha so finally we'll get a different relationship of velocity so vc equal to v sine phi divided by cos phi minus alpha and vs equal to v cos alpha divided by cos phi minus alpha so this is the simplest way to understand a different chip thickness ratio and different velocity relationships in the case of metal cutting operations so if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much